Melukota is located in the Mandya district of Karnataka. It is considered a highly sacred place in South India. This place lies at a distance of 51 km from Mysore and 133 km from Bangalore. It is in the Pandavapura taluk and famous for the Cheluvanarayan Swami temple and Yoga Narsimha temple. The town is built on rocky hills known as Yadavagiri or Yadugiri overlooking the Kaveri valley. The town derives its name from two words, Melu means top and Kota means fort. According to the history, the great Vavishnava saint, Sri Ramanujacharya lived here for about 14 years in 12th century AD and thus it became a prominent center of the Sri Vavishnava sect of Brahmins. Yoga Narsimha Swami temple is major temple in Melukota and is dedicated to Lord Narsimha. Built on a hillock, the temple overlooks the town of Melukot. The main deity is in seated posture with the Yoga Patta. It is believed that the idol of Lord Yoganarasimha was installed in the temple by Praladha. The temple is considered to be one of the seven holy centers devoted to the worship of Narasimha. There is a Sanskrit Pathashala inside the temple that dates back to 1853. One has to climb nearly 500 steps to reach the temple from the foothills. Usually, pilgrims begin their trip with a visit to the Yoga Narsimha temple. A towering gopuram marks the temple. Pilgrims has to ascend nearly 500 steps to reach the top of the hill. But you may drive to the parking lot higher up and climb the final 170 steps. This uphill road is narrow and best undertaken by a local auto rickshaw, according to visitors. However, the steps can be very crowded with pilgrims at times, and you have to walk cautiously. From the top, catch a panoramic view of the surrounding plains and hills. The carved top of the Cheluva Narayana Swami temple can also be seen from here. On the way back, you may stop at the Kalyani Lake at the foothills. In ancient India, temples were typically built near a water source. They would be built on the banks of rivers beside streams and lakes or have tanks adjacent to them. The Kalyani tank is one such water tank that stands in Melukot. There are three ponds in the town, two on the foothills and another on top of the hill. Of these, Kalyani pond near Sri Cheluva Narayana Swami temple is the largest and is surrounded by beautiful stone-carved pillared mantapas. This ancient temple tank has a history spanning over 1000 years and is considered the largest of 108 temple tanks in the district. According to the Ishwara Sanhita, Lord Krishna took on the avatar of Lord Varaha when he lifted the earth out of the universal ocean. While doing so, a few drops of the water on his body fell on top of a hill at Melukota. This led to the creation of the Kalyani Pond. The Kalyani is also mentioned in the Padma Purana. According to the legends of the Malsya Purana, Lord Vishnu's carrier, the eagle, Garuda carried white clay from Lord Vishnu's planet and deposited it at the Kalyani. It is huge tank surrounded by corridors held up by stone pillars. Each pillar has been beautifully carved. Between the pillars and the tank are a series of steps leading down to the water. The temple tank is connected to the other 107 tanks in the vicinity through a network of canals.
In ancient times temples were a place of refuge and many people lived around the temples. The temple tank served as a source of water for them. Water is also believed to have the ability to absorb positive energy. Hence, when priests chant, the energy released is absorbed by the water. Devotees of these temples believe that bathing in these waters will give them this energy. In January 2019, Infosys announced a project to restore and renovate the Kalyani tank. This will include desilting the tank, removing waste and cleaning it, reconnecting the existing canals and building a compound wall around the tank. This endeavor will improve the quality of water in the tank and help restore the natural ecosystem. Nearby Melukota, at a distance of 20 km, Thonur Kare, a beautiful lake located. This lake is a natural lake formed by collection of rainwater from surrounding hills and Yadavanadi River. The lake measures length of 145 meters and a height of 230 meters. It has expanded over 2,150 acres of land. The dam is built across the lake help to provide water for irrigation to surrounding areas. It has great history behind this lake, you can watch the detailed video about this lake, link in the video description. At distance of 40 km from Melukota, there is two beautiful waterfalls located, Bailmuri Falls and Edmuri Falls. On the way to falls, you can experience the mesmerizing nature beauty of Pandavapura village. Approximately 45 minutes drive from the Melukota, Balmuri Falls is a small water cascade located at Srirangapatna in Karnataka. Though known as a waterfall, it is a human-made check dam over the Kaveri River, which allows the water to flow in a 6-foot cascade over the Kaveri. You can walk on the dam, and the water will run up to your ankles. Best way to enjoy the falls is to take a relaxing bath in the water. Edmuri lies about a kilometer away from Balmuri. While lesser known, it offers a similarly scenic setting. Plus, it is a lot less crowded than Balmuri so if you'd like some peace and quiet, we recommend you head here. During the monsoons, when the water levels are higher, you can enjoy coracal rides. Near Balmuri, there are plenty of makeshift stalls that fry up fresh catch from the waters. If you want to spend an entire day exploring, consider heading out to the other attractions in the vicinity. The historical and ruined town of Srirangapatna is one option. You can also check out Vrindavan Gardens, Darya Dalat Bagh and Ranganathi 2 Bird Sanctuary. So friends, hope you like the video, if yes, share with your friends circle. We will upload more videos frequently, kindly subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you all for watching the video.